Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim's Beauty Basics. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Can you guess what kind of tutorial that I'm doing with this vibe that I got going on? I got my fake diamond earrings on. I got my long pony, which is just my hair. I even filled in my hairline a little bit. Like, I went for it, guys. So if you pay attention to the beauty community and you don't live under a rock, then you probably heard about the Kim Kardashian Mario Oh my gosh, I don't know what his last name is. Her makeup artist guy collabed on a makeup collection. So me being my cheap self and I'm a college student and you know, and I'm also in Canada, so shipping if fees are crazy. I wanted to see if I could recreate that blue eyeshadow look that Mario did on her like, YouTube channel and on her page. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm very excited. We're gonna definitely be using some very affordable makeup, so do not worry. I don't know at this point if it's gonna work out, but we will do this together. So if you wanna see that, just keep on watching because that video is coming right up. Also, if you end up liking this channel, don't forget to hit that like button, it helps me out so much. And if you end up liking my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. We're really chill over here. So that's pretty much it. Let's get right into this tutorial and let's try to recreate this Kim Kardashian eye makeup look. Alright guys, so just before we get into it, I just want to talk about the KKW Mario Makeup by Mario collab. So they're celebrating 10 years of working together, which is awesome. They started in 2008. There's four items included in the collection. There's an eyeshadow palette with 10 eyeshadows plus a mirror that retails for $45 USD. They have one cream lipstick called Classic K, which is $20, and then two high shine lip glosses, Juicy and Super Nude, which are $18 each. I'm not in love with the packaging by any stretch of the imagination, but I really like how the palette is laid out. I think the colors are really pretty, and I like the pop of blue. Who doesn't like a pop of blue? However, do I think that I would spend $45 US plus shipping, which I think is really ridiculous on her site. No. Out of the 10 shades, there's not that many colors that I'm like, I must have or I don't have already. But who wears blue eyeshadow on a daily basis? Not me. It's hard to pry me away from that warm brown neutral eye. You know. I tried to do a Kim Kardashian-esque look here. I did my hair pulled back nice and tight. I did my brows a little bit farther in um, to copy her shape. I over-concealed and highlighted and tried to brighten underneath my eye. And I did a very heavy bronzer contour look today. Also, I might as well just tell you, I had this weird, well, I thought it was a breakout right here and I tried to like squeeze it and pick at it. I made it really bad and I effed it up. So ignore that. I tried to cover it up best I can, but it really just kind of sticks out, so. I'm wearing a lipstick by Pure Cosmetics here and it's in the shade Stripped. And then I also put a ton of my brightening concealer by Benefit on the center of my lips. To top it all off, I just use my Fenty Bomb Gloss just in the center as well because Kim's lips are a lot more full than mine and I wanted to give that illusion. I'm really excited to create this look. I got some makeup ready in front of me, so I'm gonna zoom in and let's do this. All right, so I just had to find a photo on my phone. So just showing this photo here, this is the photo that I'm going to try to recreate or that makeup look anyway. So let's do this. I'm gonna start off with just a really light shade here from my Morphe 350 palette. And I'm just gonna put that all over the lid because I just need like a good base. I have prepped my lids and stuff with concealer and my a little bit of setting powder, but just to get them really prepped and primed, I'm just gonna put this light shade all over the lids. And I'm just using a fluffy blending brush. I'm sorry, I didn't mention that before. I'm going in with this shade here, which is just like a neutral brown color, which is kind of like the one that's in her palette. So I'm gonna go in with that and just go basically above my crease. Well, my crease and above. I don't think it's really in her look, but you know, I just think that's a good addition to everything. And that's all I'm gonna do there for priming before this blue color comes in. Today I'm using my palette from CoverGirl. It's the True Naked Jewels palette. I'm gonna go in with this color called Sapphire. It's a beautiful blue. It, the only thing about these shades, like they're super vibrant and bright. If you blend them though, they blend to nothing. So you really can't like blend them, blend them, blend them. They kind of just disappear. Because I know that, I'm gonna pack on the color with a little bit of setting spray and a packing brush. I'm gonna go in first with this flat shader brush. It's just by Smashbox here. It's just a flat packing brush. To get that bright pop of blue, I'm gonna go in with my primer water spray by Smashbox. He goes pretty high with this, so we will do the same thing. And as you can see, color payoff. And it has like that satiny finish to it. Kind of glows. So I just went in with more setting spray. Just 
Moving on more here. So I got most of the lid covered there. We're gonna bring it to a V because it looks like in her photos at her launch party he did. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna bring it into a V here. I haven't dipped back in and I haven't sprayed more primer water. I'm just using the end of the brush here to kind of blend the edge. And then as you can see, don't get as pigmented if you don't use the, if you don't really like pack it on. So it kind of blends it without really blending it like away. To see if I can get any more color payoff, I'm gonna go in just with my middle finger here and just try to pack it on and kind of blend it on the eye. I do have fallout under the eye. We will go in and fix that, don't worry. It goes even higher with it, so I'm gonna go a little bit higher with the pigment. I just had to take call real fast, but I did clean up the edges a little bit with a Q-tip, but I'm just gonna take my fluffy blending brush that we used for the brown shade that's underneath here as our base shade. I'm just gonna go over the edges lightly of this blue without blending it to my eyebrow. I'm gonna take that packing brush again, spray it with Fix Plus, not go in with any more product, and then just tap everything down and make sure it's all like packed down and not just like gonna fall off my eye. The only place that I think it needs a little bit of color is just right here. So I'm just gonna go in a little bit with that same flat shader brush. And just on the lash line as well. And now we're gonna go under the eye, which it looks like he went in with this same shade and it doesn't look like he really used any other shade. So <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm using the dense end of it or the pointed end of it. I don't know, I'm using the end of it and just packing that color underneath. I did spray a little bit more on the end and I'm just tapping off the excess onto my hand and just going in with more product because we really want that blue to be like popping. And then on the other side of this brush, it just has like a fluffy angled brush, but like a fluffier one. And I'm just gonna lightly go over the edges just to blend them. I'm gonna take this angled brush here, taking a, dusting a little bit of the excess off onto here, and I'm just gonna blend the edge of this blue up even higher. Because looking at his photos, it looks like he does. I'm going back to that blending brush and just blending that edge. I just want a tiny bit more color, so I just put a little bit more Fix Plus on that flat packer brush, and I'm just trying to get right here with a little bit more color. Then I'm going in with the angled brush here and then just blending that edge. The other part of the look that I need to do with shadow is add a highlight shade. I'm gonna go with this nice pearl shade here, which I think it is called pearl. Yeah, it's called pearl. It's supposed to be a brown bone color, so that's perfect. We're gonna go on the brow bone here and then also on the inner corner as well, which still probably has a little bit of blue shadow kind of chilling everywhere. For black liner, I'm using my Smashbox Always On Gel Liner, and we're gonna go basically all around. It looks like she even does the waterline, which I try to avoid. I'm gonna start on the bottom here. So I've covered the waterline now. I'm kind of bringing it now a little bit more out just to thicken up the line a little bit. I'm just gonna go in with this one as well and do the top, so. All right, guys, I think that's it. Looking at the picture here again, I don't think Mario did anything else. So I'm just gonna do the other eye off camera and I'm just gonna put on my lashes and I will be right back. And we're back, guys. This is the finished eye look here. I'm glad that I added that transition shade underneath with the brown shade and that lighter shade as well, just as a base, because it just helped the blue shadow blend a little bit better. I really, really like it. For lashes today, I just used my Ardell lashes, the wispy ones, and I just doubled up on them. So I pretty much just made my own double stacked wispies. What I will say is this CoverGirl palette is clutch and it came in so handy. I really, really like the shades. The blue shade is beautiful. I think it's the perfect shade. I don't think it's quite the same as the Kim one. I think hers might be a little bit a touch lighter. Hard to tell though and probably you don't need to pack on it quite as much color but for this price you can pack on as much color as you want. The other savior for today was definitely this packer brush. You definitely need to use a packing brush to pack on the color with setting spray to get the color payoff that you really want. Do I think you need to buy a $45 palette from Kim? 
I don't know, it's kind of up to you. So yeah, if you're like me and you're on a budget and you don't want to go out and purchase this new palette but you really love that blue color, I'd say this is a great alternative. So yeah, that's pretty much everything guys. If you have any questions for me, just leave them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was super fun to do. I really like the final look. Like it's definitely not something that I do normally or like ever. I think it's something really fun for a night out or just like if you want to just stay at home and play with some makeup, whatever you want to do. I do think it's a very fun look and it's really easy to do honestly and you can do it with any color. So if blue is not your favorite color, you could totally do it with like a red or orange. Those would be stunning for summer. Yeah, so I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world and I hope I see you very very soon in my next video. Bye guys. So what I'm going to start with is, oh, oh my god I almost killed myself.